everyone who has just shown up I am trying to make sure I get all of the audio kinks uh, taken care of uh, I thought I was getting an echo before I'm not sure if I am now so let me know if you believe you are hearing things twice or even more gosh that truck needs to cool its jets it's shaking my entire house la 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 <coughs> Almost time to get in here and get started, so obviously we'll give it a few more minutes, let people sort of, you know, shuffle in and whatnot. Um, give everyone an opportunity to get on in, yeah. Yeah. Mm hmm. Chat open on my phone, so I'll be able to see it. Can I do it like this? Nope. Okay. But nope. 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 Oh. Oh gosh, darn it! What have I done? Oh gosh, everything is broken. Ah, it's horrible. There we go. That's better. That's better. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get us started here, and whoop, that's that. Um, turn on that, a little bit of dynamic lighting, and then get the, that open. Okay, alrighty, looks like 
we are doing pretty well. Uh, definitely want to switch in some of these batteries really quick. The other empty. That's kind of kind of something we're gonna be doing real quick. There we go. All right, two batteries are charging. All right, so uh, I'm still trying to remember what the heck we were doing last time, but I think it had to do with you know. stuff. <laughs> now, I remember for sure that we were doing some, uh, we were getting magnesite, and we got our water filtration system, which is super cool. Um, let me write one of those two. So, I guess we'll be making our water filter and seeing how that works out for us. Do, 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 Cause this lantern fruits are taking forever to get any water. <coughs> Excuse me, I've still got a little bit of a cough, but I'm doing much better than I was before. So, you may hear some of my coughs, but I am, I am okay. Okay, flashlight, multi-tool, survival kit, uh, survival knife, pathfinder tool, air bladder, uh, stasis rifle, light stick. Okay, reinforced dive suit, interesting. La 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 la, la 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 la. Reactor rod, use the power of the re nuclear reactors. Okay, because we recently got nuclear reactor as a thing. So, <coughs> all right, so the filtration system I imagine I make with my my gun, uh, my habitat building gun. Uh, so, that's probably in one of these. Water filtration machine, aerogel, titanium, copper wire. Okay, I'm sure I've got some of that stuff around for sure. Like to. I guess I really need some more storage. Storage might be nice. Because we are definitely pretty full up on a lot of our storage stuff. So, uh, power cell charger, something I got recently. So that's really cool. Just go ahead and take. Oh, oh not enough titanium. Not enough titanium. I don't have any more titanium in anything. <laughs> okay, looks like we're gonna have to go get some titanium. Titanium. Um, but that shouldn't be very difficult. There should be all kinds of titanium around in the car because we're pretty close to the. Uh, Creep vine sea area. Um, and that area has all kinds of cool things filled with titanium. So, different chunks of various metal that we can turn into glorious, glorious hunks of titanium. At least there used to be a bunch of hunks of metal. Aha! Here is one. Metal salvage. Salvage. We have so much salvage. Okay, so really we're going to need to start figuring out what to do as far as getting... Woo! Hey, what's up, buddy? We have to figure out what to do as far as making a new... Uh, or, or figuring out how to get off the planet. Because we have the rocket... Uh, we have the rocket stuff, which is really cool and what we needed. But... Um, I know the gun will shoot us down if we try to leave. And I am quite certain that... The... Uh, that we have to be cured before we can shut the gun off. So, uh, I have been told that that has something to do 
with the Sea Emperor. But I don't know where to find the Sea Emperor or anything about it. So, who knows? <laughs> I don't remember naming my sea prawn the Iron Maiden, but okay. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta roll with your crazy self. With the crazy things that you come up with. It's pretty funny. Okay, so we got lots of titanium now that we can make up. So that's super, super cool. We'll be able to finish making our wall mount. Uh, our wall locker. Um, beep. There we go. And now we will fill that with titanium and magnesite. Or magnetite. Or whatever it's called. I don't need more gel sac spore seeds either. Okay. So we are going to need titanium for... Uh, our next project, which is the water filtration system. We need copper wire and aerogel. So let me go check and see how we make aerogel again. A uh, gel sack and a ruby. Okay. I know I've got some rubies. Here we go. So there's a ruby. Our gel sacks are all at, right outside the house. There we go them. I'll just go ahead and grab another one just in case. Ah, this is perfect. <coughs> Welcome aboard, Captain. Excuse me. All the coughs, all the bad coughs. Okay, so we got some aerogel we're making up. So now we just need some copper so we can make copper wire. Um, that's gold. I don't need gold. I don't know why I got that out of there. I didn't mean to. Uh, so much gold. Uh, there's some copper ore. Finally found some. Okay, we need to make... Oh, we need one more copper. Poop bears! Poop bears. Okay, so let's go track down some copper. Copper, 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 copper. Let's track down some copper. Copper, 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 copper. Ah, oh, come on, dude. I didn't come anywhere near your house. Get over yourself. Way out here, dude. Calm your crap. I don't need any of this. My man has two jobs. Uh, let's see. Yeah. And we're looking for some sandstone or limestone outcroppings, but I don't see any. It's more metal salvage along out here, I guess. Won't hurt to have some more, I suppose. And here we go. Titanium. Who bears? I don't need no more stinking titanium right now. I'm after copper. La Bear. Daniel Romero MCP says hi. Hello, welcome to the stream, Daniel Romero MCP. Good to have you here. Also, everyone else who's lurking, thank you for being here as well. Welcome to the stream. Hope you all have fun and enjoy whatever whatever you uh, whatever you're busy with that keeps you from talking. I understand. Um, so we're currently trying to make our water filtration system. So we needed a little bit more copper before we could actually get started on that. So I grabbed the copper. I figured I'd just grab uh, a couple other things like metal salvage and stuff while I was at it. Uh, that way we would just have some more titanium. Because titanium is one of those things that you can't really have enough of. And if you get too much, then you just use some of it to make more storage for your titanium. Oh, hey, look, we're gonna die. <laughs> I was not always real good at remembering about not that drowning thing, you know. 
that whole not drowning thing is not something I'm always super good at. But we're figuring it out, you know? Okay, so now we need to make our copper wire. Copper wire, copper wire. We're making all the copper wire in the world. Green Jay says, that not drowning thing sounds fun. Welcome to the stream, Green Jay. Yeah, not drowning is definitely a fun thing to be well practiced at. Okay, so water filtration system. Let's see if I can put that in my upstairs room by any chance. I doubt I can. Seems like the kind of thing that they would frown upon. But, you know, might as well have double checked. Okay, water filtration system. Water, water. Okay, we're gonna have to build a new room on. I mean, there is a reason why we left space for new rooms. And this, my fine feathered friends, is why. Okay, now, we'll go ahead and put another X compartment, just to make sure that I have all the space that I need. Then we'll make a multi-purpose room. Uh, whoops, 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 whoops. I don't know why that multi-purpose room doesn't want to attach anything. Probably because I need an actual tube coming off of it, huh? This extremely long hallway. Uh, oh, it's because I need to rotate it, I think. But I don't remember how to rotate it. Ro ro rotate. Or maybe it's because it needs a foundation. Ah, there it is. Never mind. Got it. Got it. Boom. Okay. Now I think I'll put another hatch. I need some quartz. Some quartz. I can get some quads. Quads is pretty easy to find real quick. Grab myself a couple quads. Boom, baby! There we go. It's so nice. Now we have another way in this side. It's so nifty. Nifty gifty. Alrighty, water filtration machine. This is gonna be cool, guys. Boom. We have done it. We have created the water filtration machine. I don't I don't know how to how to do this. Alright, how, how, how do I water filtrate now? Shouldn't it just poop out water for me? Filtration pro progress is 0% water, 100% salt. Okay, I see. Alrighty. So now do I put anything in here, or does it just work slowly? I don't... Whoops. Well, that certainly happened. I, I definitely drank that water. Oh, hey, look, it's 1% water and 100% salt. That's 101%! That's not possible! Ah! Okay, well... Water filtration system is up and running, which means we have, whoops, nope, 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 that's not what I wanted. Water filtration system is up and running, which means I guess we'll have water eventually, but for now, we don't really have uh, anything else to worry about on that front. Um, let's see. I don't really have anything else that I need to make right now. Um, Head in here. I guess I could look at uh, some of the mods that I can make. Uh, lightweight, high capacity tank, plasteel ingots. Okay. Ultra high capacity tank. Okay. 
So that one needs high capacity tank and four lithium. I'm pretty sure I have four lithium, which means I could do that really quick. And then I would be able to breathe underwater for even longer. Yeah, there's the lithium there. Three, four. That's gonna be super cool. Yay for more things. Is this still running? Did I leave this running? No, I don't think so. <coughs> okay. Uh, I just have to remove the one that I'm already wearing. Because that is uh, 90 seconds of oxygen. And this one will give me a whopping Wow, dang, 180 percent, 180 seconds. That just doubled my underwater time, guys. That's so cool. That's literally the best. Okay. So, we're looking at uh, some of the other things that we're definitely going to need. Uh, more depth modules, exosuit, exosuit depth module. Um... Blade. Okay. Nothing I can really make or use right now. Okay, what about here? Whole reinforcement, energy efficiency, storage modules. Okay. I know that someone was saying that I needed to get some sort of grappling -y, hook -y thingy. Um, but that I would need to find that out and about first. So that's kind of unfortunate. It looks like we don't have quite enough power. Huh. Well, I mean, we should. I guess maybe it's just that we have, uh, where is my bioreactor? Lubricant wiring kit. I don't think I have a wiring kit around. Or even the stuff to make it. So I guess just because it's nighttime, so the, the solar isn't working. Uh, which is unfortunate. Are these wiring kits? Silver ore, that's right. Uh, Karina says, hi, welcome to the stream, Karina. And Green Jay says, it doubled your not drowning capabilities. It's true, it did. Okay, so I think the thing to do right now is to go exploring. I definitely am going to need more stuff in general. Uh, although some more silver could be really helpful. So let's see about getting some more silver while we're out and about. Let that decide a little bit where we might explore. Um, let's see. Scan! Are those, is that the silver then? Over there? Way over there? Okay, that's northwest of here. Okay. So we want to head northwest and see if I get some silver. Um, Welcome aboard, Captain. But why are you saying that? I just jumped out. <laughs> and there, our beautiful little sea moth. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you, Janice. Most appreciated, Janice. All right, I'm kind of sorry about that little little dude. Okay. Um, it's time to. Get wrecked? No. Uh, we want to go northwest and see about getting some more silver. And just searching things in general. We've already been to most places in the game, I think, except for wherever we find the Sea Emperor or whatever it's called, which is unfortunate because I'm pretty sure that that is kind of important to find. So. I guess, I guess that's what I'm trying to figure out next, is where to find the Sea Emperor. But I guess I can head this way towards the gun. I know that there's silver off in that direction, so if I really want silver, that's a good way to go. Yeah, leave me alone, Jeremy. Jeremy's the little stalker that lives nearby our, our little settlement. There's some sandstone. Hello, tiger thing. Leave me alone, please. 
by being a jerk. Such a jerk. Seek fluid intake. Oh, you seek fluid intake, Sharon. I don't care what you Vital think, Sharon. Oh, there's something in there. That might be helpful. I don't know. I don't, I don't know what it is. I can't tell. Uh, scanner. Vehicle bay fragment. I already got that. That's sad. There's a handful of things that I just don't have that it seems like I should have at this point. Parts for my brawn, things like that, that I just haven't been able to find anywhere. And, and even other people who are watching me. Uh, Eogon Allen says, can you give me a shout out, please? Well, shout out to you, Eogon. Thanks for being here. Glad you're here on the stream. I appreciate you being here. It's very, very cool of you to stop by and hang out for a little while. I'm assuming that I said your name properly. Uh, looks like we also have E D M E H T H M says, you know Amaz, he has like 20 of videos playing this game. Uh, and then Ellen Helga says, you're a chicken. I'm a chicken? Oh, no, I'm a chicken! Ah! I am a chicken. Whoa, hey, what's up, dude? Calm down. Calm down. Um, and then Ewan says it's Ewan. Okay, cool, cool. Cool, cool. Good to know. We're going to have to get out real quick and repair our little, little seamothy here because... Apparently, all these jerks want to break it, like, a lot. So, anyway, that's kind of a jerk move on their part, but I understand, you know, I'm, I'm pretty intimidating. I, if I saw me in the water, I might be willing to... Well, I might be a little scared, too, so, you know. Hey, dude, go away. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not fighting you right now. I don't care about you. What do we have down here? Let's go down here. Stop it! Leave me a ship alone! Ooh, this place looks cool. A very cool looking place. La 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 la! La 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 la! Oh, I think I remember being here once before. This is where people sent me, and then they all were like, uh, you're gonna die. That was fun. I remember being here that. Stop it! Jerks! i gonna shoot rockets at you if I could. I think that's like the, yeah, propulsion gun. Don't like that. Uh, Ewan says, I love your vids. Oh, well, thank you so much. Uh, Ellen says, nice video you're doing. Thank you. Uh, EDMTHM says, just want to say I discovered the game thanks to him, and now I like watching people play the game, but I don't. No, I wish erosion the patterns game. on the land Why? masses suspended here suggest they once floated on the surface. Interesting. Okay. And then uh, Ellen says, "Sing, let it go, let it go, let it go. Can't hold it back anymore. Let it go, let it go. Turn my back and slam the door." I started too high. Was my problem. But I also don't know the words to the song. Kind of makes it difficult to like really put your heart into it whenever you're. That was uh, I, I have seen Frozen once, but it was back when it first came out, so I, I don't know the song very well. It's, you know, just kind of where I'm at on, on that front. Maximum depth reached. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay. Well, let's repair this puppy up a little bit. I guess we'll go ahead and go down a little ways and see what we can find. What could possibly go wrong? This is not absolutely terrifying at all. I lied, it's absolutely terrifying. La la. I don't like that noise. I don't like that noise. I'm going back. Okay, we have 
have our big sharky friends. There's lots of our big sharky friends around here. Uh, let's see. Ellen says, you're cool. Get the Cyclops. Well, thanks. I appreciate that. Yeah, I haven't been able to find all the pieces to the Cyclops yet. That's actually kind of one of the things I'm working on is Cyclops finding. Um, so I guess maybe I should go search closer to the Aurora to find more Cyclops pieces. But I have been really unsuccessful in it for a while now. A lot of people were really astounded whenever they came and watched. And they were like, I can't believe you're this far in the game and you don't have any of the Cyclops pieces. And I was like, I, I'm not trying to not have the Cyclops pieces. It's just not working out for me. Go away! Stop it! All right, we're going to park right here. And hopefully that'll get some of those guys to leave my ship alone for a second. Now we're gonna look around for some more parts. This looks like, ah, prawn drill arm fragments. That's cool. That should be helpful, right? Uh, let's see, Ellen says, do you know Dan TD? I do not. I, I, I don't know who that is. Huh. A good handful of people we're talking about who I, who I don't know. But, uh, you know, that's cool. Don't mind hearing about new people. Ooh, that looks kind of cool and also scary. Ooh, we can go in here now. Yes! Ha ha ha! See what all we can find in here. Hope in Sesame! Uh, let's see. Uh, EDM says that it's it's kind of strange that I can go as deep as I can uh, and already have the prawn but don't have the cyclops. Yeah, it's just really, really strange. I, I just haven't seen hardly any cyclops parts. Like, more recently I finally found some, but it took me a long time. Grappling arm fragments for the prawn! Yes! Propulsion arm fragments. Well, this place is perfect for me. This is great. I'm just finding all of the prawn stuff. Okay. Okay. Let's see what's behind this door. Behind door number one. Ellen says, search him on YouTube. Okay, I will. And also says, bye. Well, bye. Thanks for stopping by. I'm glad you were here. Uh, if, if you're uh, interested in any of my other streams, you can always check out my Twitter there in the description, and uh, you'll be able to keep up with uh, my streams from now on. Okay. Laser cutter. Oh! Sounds like there are things on the other side of this door that I don't really want to deal with, but whatever. It's okay. It's just kind of terrifying. Can you stop making those noises? Okay, well, it look, looks like we got some more pawn suit stuff, which is cool. Um, I'm really going to have to get out of here, though. Propulsion arm for the prawn. Okay, well that's probably really helpful. Seems like something I would really like to have. Nutrient block! Yeah! Regular propulsion cannon. Uh, first aid kit. Okay, we're gonna have to get moving. 30 seconds. Okay. Jet on through here really fast. Hop into our Seamoth Jenkins. Okay, here we go. We are in Welcome our Seamoth. Welcome aboard, Captain. We air now. Uh, let's see. Ellen says, I am back. Well, welcome back. Uh, Mavra says, hello, just joined. Sounds like bone sharks are nearby. Yeah, I believe so. I think that's what it is. Uh, Ellen says, how do you get the game? Oh, uh, you can find this game through Steam. It's, uh, I believe, about $30 right now. You can still 
uh, just came out for its official release, so, uh, but yeah. Um, I thought that might be a door I could open with my cutting torch, but I guess not. Okay, so now we're gonna head in further. See what we can find in here. Uh, there's a data RAWN safety instructions appendix A14. Don't climb on or get off equipment while it's moving. Okay, well thanks for that, Sharon. That was the most helpful thing. Who cares? Uh, ADM says, did you already discover some alien facilities? How far are you with the infection? Don't want to spoil. Um, yeah, so we have found the uh, swim chart. Okay. We have found the gun. And we've got all the way in there, but unfortunately... Whoa, that was scary. Um, we, we got all the way into the gun, but then it told us that, you know, we were infected and we weren't allowed to turn the gun off while we were infected, so that was a bummer. Um, as far as curing the infection, I know that it has something to do with the, uh, Sea Emperor, but I don't know anything about where to find the Sea Emperor, so that's kind of where I'm at right now, is trying to figure out where to find the Sea Emperor and what to do next all of that, so. Oh, hello, sir. <laughs> so, we just recently, just now, as of coming into this place, got uh, most of our brawn arm research done, which is very cool, because we definitely did not have any of that before. Uh, seek fluid intake. You seek fluid intake, Sharon. I don't care what you think. There's fluids all around me, Sharon. I'll just drink some of them. I don't think there's a way out of here without, like... Oh, okay, there we go. Uh, and there is my sea moth there, which looks like it might have sustained some damage while I was inside, which is weird. Okay, so that was a very, very successful little search mission where I, in which I found a lot of useful things. Um, now we're really trying to figure out where I can get Cyclops parts, because that's something I'm still super lacking. Um, but I don't... Gosh darn it, man, these guys are going to break my ship. Okay, let's come up here next to our little whale friend. He doesn't seem like he's, he's... He's a pretty nice guy, and the other guys don't seem to like him very much, so... <laughs> uh, let's see. Ellen says, I'm Icelandic bro. Cool, cool, that's cool. Um, Mavra, welcome to the stream, says, The bone sharks are not tearing up your sea moth. Uh, Ellen says, Do you really want the Cyclops? Uh, EDM says, Okay, you didn't say yours can yet. Huh. Uh, Ellen says, me too. Social Omelette, welcome to the stream, says, hello! And then Maver says, talk about needing a Seamoth perimeter defense module. Uh, and then Ellen says, don't stop talking. I usually don't stop talking. I usually just talk forever. I'm kind of I'm kind of a very talkative person in general is one of the reasons why I thought perhaps doing the whole YouTube thing might be a decent idea for me because, you know, considering the fact that I never shut my pie hole, it just seemed like it might kind of work out in my favor because I could just keep on talking and talking forever and everyone can be like, oh, for the love of all that is good and holy, please shut up. And I won't. I really won't. Da, da, da. Okay, what do we have down here? Are you perhaps bits of Cyclops? You are not. Calorie intake recommended. Oh, uh, whatever, Sharon. Whatever. Okay, we're gonna go back to the house um, so we can get some more fluid intake. And 
then uh, then we'll try to figure out where to go for more Cyclops parts. Toxic next. fluid intake immediately. I, I, I'm fine, Sharon. Thank you so much for your care and concern. What are you? This might be a good scanner room. Never mind. Do I have any more water on me? I do. Vital signs. Stay busy. There we go. Fine, Sharon. I drank some water and I ate some food. Are you happy now? Are you happy? Okay, let's see. Uh, Maverick says I constantly talk to myself and mutter. Uh, so someone says I hope I haven't missed anything and should never shut your pie hole, especially the day after pie day. Um, <laughs> <coughs> Ellen says no, I meant don't stop talking in chat. So apparently Ellen doesn't want me to be talking anymore, which is, which is sad. It's, it's kind of sad. My feelings. No, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. You're fine. Um, come here. Come here, little bladder fish. Ah! Okay. Woo. Well, that was only mildly scary. Only mildly to severely scary. Okay, there we go. That's all that good for now. Alright, so we've got our new upgrades for our brawn uh, arms, which is very cool. Um, so we'll be able to do the grappling hook thing, which is super neat. I like that idea. That sounds cool. Um, make some more water. Definitely going to need water. Well, you know what? Actually, I... Well, yeah. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. Let me just take a second and catch my own... Catch my breath. <coughs> Especially considering... <laughs> oh, sorry. It's getting over a cough, so... Okay, so let's see. We're going to go ahead and get... Let's store up some of our treasure... Real quick, quartz, copper, lots of titanium. Still yet more titanium. Okay, there we go. That's helpful. Now we should be able to go upstairs to our fruit trees and just grab a crap ton of these. And that'll help us with water and food. On the other hand, eventually we're going to run out of these and only do like three water each but that'll get me by and i get by on that just fine let's see social almond says i feel like the music is intensified since the last i tuned in also the bass is huge still good to see frank leafy intact also i work so if i abruptly leave abruptly one of my reactions has exploded okay and then mavra says fresh fruits full of dietary fiber yeah all that dietary fiber Okay, so the next thing that we want to do is find more crash sites, but I don't see crash sites on here, which is really strange. It seems real strange that crash sites isn't on there. Usually there are crash sites, but I think we also need to make upgrades for this uh Somebody wanted me to get the HUD chip, which is magnetite and a computer chip. And then we'll probably want to do the scanner range as well. So two magnetite and a copper, and then we need to make a computer chip. Um, okay, so two magnetite. Uh, should have some copper. And then we gotta figure out remember what a computer chip takes to make. Uh, it's a copper wire table coral. Okay. So we're going to need even more of the copper that we don't have. Yeah, I don't think I have any in any of these. Yeah, okay. So we'll still need to grab that. What's that? Cyclops engine efficiency module. Yeah, that's super helpful since I don't even have a Cyclops! Uh. Okay, let's put our thermal blade up there. Grab ourselves some 
table coral. Okay, two table coral. And then now we're gonna just look around for some more copper, I guess. Boy, copper seems to be like the one thing that I never have. You know, titanium is easy enough to find because you can always get the metal salvage. But the copper, it comes from the same place as titanium, which means I'm always like looking for it and finding titanium instead, like that. And then it doesn't show up in big, giant hunks the same way that metal does, or titanium does. Gosh darn it, see? Two limestone down, two titanium. I need copper, gosh darn it. Gosh darn it all. Okay. Hey, it might help if I looked during the day instead of during the night because I would be able to see better, but we're, it's, it's now. We're just looking now is what we're doing. I don't see any down here. Ah, the poisons! Ah, the poison! Some sandstone. Sandstone's helpful, I guess, sometimes. Uh, let's see. You gotta be bored gaming. Welcome to the stream. Says, I have missed a few streams. How's Frank? Frank is good. Frank's is doing well, you know. He, uh, he had a rough day here or there, but, you know, at the end of it all. Yes, more copper! Hi, copper! Yes! At the end of the day, he's, he's doing good. That noise at all. Ah, more limestone. Copper? Yes, copper. Okay, I think maybe I have enough copper now. Maybe I have enough, although I wouldn't mind having lots extra, but I just can't find none of it. So. Sea glide fragment. Okay, so now, yeah, let's go ahead and head over to the base and finish making up uh, the HUD upgrade for the room. Let's see. Uh, Maverick says, ah, the Great Barrier Reef Back. Great Barrier Reef Back! La 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 la. Okay, so let's go ahead and come in through this door. Actually, that would be a move. I really need to go in through that. Well, actually, no, I take it back. I do want to come check my water filtration system. See what it's up to. It's, it's at 27%. Uh, Maybe I should make more than one water filtration system. Oh, that's expensive, though. <laughs> Uh, Maverick says don't stop until you have full, full locker, four full lockers of copper. That sure would be nice, but, okay, so there we go. We can make our range scan upgrade, and then go ahead and put that puppy in there. So we upgrade a range with our scanner. Now we'll come in here, and we should be able to make a computer chip now that we have copper wire. Okay, and that should, I believe, be everything that we need in order to make the HUD upgrade. Scanner room HUD chip streams data from scanner rooms to the HUD. That's super cool. I really like that idea. Wow, I didn't know that that was gonna be so cool. So, wait, where is it? Oh, is it in my suit? Is it, oh, it's something that I'm wearing. Oh, okay. Okay, well, we are now finally able to uh, do that, which is very cool. Um, I guess we could go ahead and scan for copper ore, and then that would put that on my HUD, I guess. I don't know how it puts it on my HUD, but seems like something I'd be interested in. Frank Leafy Jr., please give me some delicious energy. There we go. We'll also pick some uh, 
Chinese potatoes. Eat them as well, so that's super, super helpful. Okay. So, this says it's still scanning for copper ore, and I haven't got any new information on scanner room speed upgrade. Okay, why not? Let's do that. That seems like a decent idea, right? Crank up, crank up the speed again. Okay. All right, scan! I don't know why it's taking so long to scan. Okay, meanwhile, let's definitely switch out some batteries. Uh, the laser cutter, I definitely need to get the battery out of that puppy. Was it the laser cutter? The yeah, laser cutter, there we go. There we go. Now we will trade in our good batteries for our bad batteries. There, that's very helpful. You gotta be more gaming sense. Yeah, why is Sharon taking so long? Yeah, Sharon! The heck, Sharon! I don't even know. Maybe there is just no copper ore left. <laughs> Maybe I should be looking for limestone chunks. There's, looks like there's one just like right next to me. Oh dang, it is right there. Wow. Okay, well, that's super neat. I didn't know that this was a thing. And I am really stoked about this. Okay, so now we should be able to... Where is this thing? Where is this alleged limestone? Why be the game lying to us in such a way? It claims there's limestone, but there really isn't! Wow, there's a lot of limestone around, huh? Okay, well... I guess that's as good as anything. I got some more titanium! Titanium! Copper! And I got some copper. Ah, Glenn Strong, welcome to the stream. Hello, everyone. I'm really, I'm feeling really, <laughs> Glenn says he's feeling really neutral today, which is a reference to uh, my unhelpful how-to on, uh, not getting demonetized on YouTube. Ah! Ah! What? Oh, hey, Jeremy. Sorry, Jeremy. Didn't mean to scare you, buddy. I was just fleeing for my life away from that horrible monster. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think I'm gonna blow up. Ow, I did. I was right. I did blow up. Okay. Gosh dang, this is super helpful, having having all these just show up on my HUD. I really like that. Wow, there's so many. There's almost too many. Like, it's kind of, like, confusing to look at. It's a lot of information for my brain to take in. Okay, well, there is that. I guess really what I need next is to find Cyclops bits. Unless I don't really need the Cyclops bits now that I, because I have the brawn. Uh, let's see, uh, Social Homeless says, Sharon is deliberately making it take a long time, so you have to spend more time with her, that's true. Uh, Glenstron says, like I said, that sound bite needs to be a meme, and since when did this game have music? It, it has it like, occasionally, just not very often. Okay, so now we are able to make cool things for the prawn suit, like the grappling arm. 
because that seems really awesome. We need advanced wiring kit, benzene, and lithium. I guess let's get on top of that. Advanced wiring kit. Okay. Advanced wiring kit requires a regular wiring kit, two gold, and a computer chip. So I'm definitely gonna need some copper in order to make some of that. I need more table coral. Uh, I'm getting silver. So let's tell the computer to search for silver ore, which is over there, I guess. Chugga, 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 choo, choo! Uh, Maverick says, huh, the fabrication unit fits behind the ladder now. It does, yeah. Uh, Glenn Strong says, was that a robot? Um, and then Social Almost says, BRB, heating up soup, and indeed it was a robot. A game is in the game unless there's a mech suit, right? Yeah! You know it always needs to be at least one giant suit of awesome mechanical robot armor. In every single game. I don't even care if it's a, a fantasy game or not. They just all need it. Okay. Ah, there's just some random silver ore literally just floating there. I must have dropped that at some point. <laughs> That's delightful. Okay, let's see. A little bit of silver now. Um, we also need to grab some table coral while we're out and about. I mean, it's pretty easy stuff to find anyway, so I'm not overly worried about it, but... Might as well, right? Boom, baby. Boom, baby. Okay, so now we need to switch this and tell it to look for sandstone instead of silver. Because clearly that's going to be where we're going to get the bulk of our silver, if we can even get enough silver from that. Uh, make a wiring kit now. Yes! Ha-ha! Okay, so now we need our computer chip and two gold in order to make our computer chip. We need one gold, so we need three gold. Which I'm pretty certain that one of these puppies is half full gold, so... Yeah, there it is. One, two, three! All of the gold that we need. Computer chip. Advanced wiring kit. Okay, so now, what all do we need? Um, benzene uses blood oil, which I have growing outside in abundance. So, three blood oil for my benzene. And then we're looking for one lithium. So, I've got lithium in some of these as well. So, there's my one lithium. And now we'll, actually, I might even have. Yep, there's my blood oil. Oh, but I need, like, three blood oil. Uh, which means I need to put some stuff away. So, put away some of this titanium and some of this copper. Put away as much copper and titanium as we can. There we go. So, we'll grab some blood oil from outside. Bada boom, baby! There we go. It is super helpful to have that growing right here. Dynamite like Gaming, welcome to the stream. Hi, just came across you here as a new sub. Well, thank you so much for subscribing. I appreciate that. Yeah. I'm, uh, if, if you're also interested in following me on Twitter, you can find that in my, uh, in the description right there. If you want to, uh, follow me on there too. That's, uh, between my YouTube and my Twitter, you will hear about all of my streams as they are beginning. Um, Okay, so I have enough of everything, I think, now in order for me to make my prawn arm upgrade. Prawn suit module, grappling arm. There we go. Okay, that's super cool. 
I'm told that this is like the thing that you have to have in order to actually really travel around in the prawn. So, enter prawn. How do I? How, I want. I don't want to enter the prawn. I want to upgrade the prawn. No! How do I, okay, shouldn't I, I should be able to, am I not holding that upgrade? Okay, I'm holding that upgrade. Okay, so I have the upgrade in my hand. Okay, well, let's try getting into the bronze. Thank you. Uh, what, what was his name going to be? Uh, Jarvis, that's right, Jarvis. Thank you, Jarvis. Okay, so we have, that. Uh, here we go. Now we can access the upgrades. No! I didn't mean to drop it. No! Get back here. No! No! <laughs> well, that would have been frustrating. <laughs> okay. So our prawn now has uh, some sort of delightful grappling hook device. Uh, that did not work. Is my bad. I, I really, I'm not, I'm not blaming it by any means. Ah! It takes some getting used to, guys. Just a little bit of getting used to. <laughs> uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. Uh, Glenn says, I like that you've done in the place. Cat posters and I touch. Thank you. Uh, Maverick says, I put it on my Cyclops to keep me cool. Uh, Social Omelette says, the grappling arm will allow you to land surf, like never before. Oh, okay, that's good. Uh, Dynamite Gaming says, I'll give you a sub if you want. Oh, well, thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, Maver says, I can't count the number of times that I've dropped modules. <laughs> uh, and EDM says, the ocean is nasty enough. You don't need to drop some upgrades. Yeah, that was very unfortunate. Okay, so now we've got one upgrade in there. Uh, we probably want, like, what, depth upgrade or something like that? Um... So, oh, but we don't have any nickel. We haven't ever found any nickel. So, okay, I guess we're gonna go. Wow, there's so much sandstone around. It's ridiculous. Ah! Ah! This is not working. <laughs> I think I'm kind of stuck. Okay, alrighty. I just, I'm just gonna give it a second. Let it, let it cool down. All right, here we go. And away! Okay. Oh, wow, we can go 900, a depth of 900 with this thing? Oh, my gosh. I don't really need a depth upgrade right now, huh? Seek fluid intake. You seek in fluid. In fluid. In fluid. You seek fluid intake, Sharon. I don't give a darn what you think, Sharon. Uh, there's no way to actually pick up an item that I have. Where are you? Where's the badman? <laughs> uh, I don't know if I'm very good at prawning, okay? I can pick them up. Okay, well that's very helpful. Okay, good, good. Where are ya? Come at me, bro! I double, double dog dare ya. My giant robot. I don't think you can take, you can't take this. You can't deal with me. Lead. If I can figure out where it went. Okay, there we go. There's, I think, I think, nope. Still didn't pick it up. There we go. Got it. Woo, this is going to be tedious. Uh, <laughs> Maverick says nobody's good at prawning for the first time. It's like Neo failing that first jump and cratering. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, I imagine this is going to take some real getting used to. Um, there's always a possibility I'll never really learn, but, you know. No! Don't go away, gold! Eh. I, 
Did I, did I get it? Go away! Go away! I will punch you in the face! Jerk. Okay. Alrighty, so I guess the thing to do right now is to just, like, go to the deeper parts of the water and see what we can find, right? This is our first time that we've really had the ability to go to any, any reasonable depth. So... I guess it makes sense for it to be the time for us to really get down there. So, I guess going towards the Aurora might be a decent idea, now that I think about it. Ah! Because uh, I would be able to uh, maybe find more Cyclops pieces over there, especially deeper in the water. But I don't remember exactly where the Aurora is, so we're gonna have to head towards the sh towards our uh, base over there. Sink fluid intake immediately. Sharon, why don't you sink fluid intake? Okay, like I, you can get over yourself. Okay, well, I almost made it up there. Up, up, and away! All right, now, there we go. All right, now we're headed the right direction, even. All right. So now, let's see. Uh, EDM says, I like the reference. Thank you. Um, Mavra says, just as honest warning, though, there has been many document cases of Prawn suits glitching through the ground. Not surprised. I had a, uh, my first sea moth, as you can see, is way over there. That's at the gun island. The reason it's over there at the gun island is because it glitched into the ground. It was not a fun day. It was a, that was a very sad day whenever my sea moth glitched into the ground. Okay, I'm turning this off because that is just, just a, it's just really hard to look at. Okay, that's what I'm trying to say. Okay, I don't really need anything else that's on there on the scanner right now. Uh, so the thing to do right now is to go ahead and come in here. And... Ah! Frank Leafy Jr. It's okay, Frank Leafy Jr. You're, I'm just I'm just replanting you. You're you're fine. You're fine, Frank Leafy Jr. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, Frank Leafy Jr. has been with us for a little while. We really love our, we really love ourselves some Frank Leafy Jr. He's, he's a great guy. And this is his dad back here, Frank Leafy. And that's his wife, um, Lantern Tree. Because I never named him. <laughs> um, okay, so we have quite a bit of water left. Um, go ahead and drink one of those for now. We're going to run check on our water filtration system and then once we're done with that, then we will uh, Okay, so it's almost done. Almost done. Man, that thing takes forever. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> if I had a good cough button, I would use it, but unfortunately I don't have anything good for that. I, I'm at the very last like days of being pretty legitimately sick. I actually had to take for those of you who uh, are new to the channel, I had to actually take a week off from recording just to uh, get back to uh, a reasonable uh, level of like health. I was just, I just kept getting worse. There was nothing I could do to it. Uh, it wasn't until very, very recently that I actually started feeling better now, so. Uh, that is says Frank III, and his wife is Fern. Waka, waka, waka. Okay, yeah, Fern. Fern's a great name. Fern is delightful. I love it. Okay, so now we are going to prawn about until we can get enough stuff to make our Cyclops. Grab Trap Fragment. I don't remember if I have Grab Trap or not. I guess it's 
as good a thing as I need to scan. Okay, I do. Not that it's really helpful to have more titanium at the moment, but, I mean, it doesn't hurt either, so. Um, I'm going to glance back up here at the surface real quick. Yep, all right, so in the right direction. Okay. So now we are a lean, mean, killing machine. We got our prawn here, and we are headed in the right direction to get to uh, the Aurora, which means that we're headed, hopefully, in the right direction to get Cyclops bits, because at this point in the game, we really should have a Cyclops, but we just don't. Um, how much more do I need for the Cyclops, anyway? Uh, Cyclops, Cyclops. Okay, I still need two bridge blueprints. And then it just says one Cyclop. Which I guess maybe might come into being whenever I get my, my bridge. I don't know. But we'll see. I also don't remember what any of that stuff really looks like. Uh, I'm assuming this is just scrap metal. Yeah, just metal salvage. But it's definitely worth checking, just to make sure. And if I can get myself to snag on to any of that, then I will travel a bit faster. Aha! We're like Spider-Man! Spider-Man, Spider-Prawn, Spider-Prawn does whatever a prawn probably could anyway, because prawns already have the ability to climb on walls and stuff. There are monsters everywhere. They're all like, hey, look, it's that same lady who is like, been like trying, been in every single person's locker ever. She really gets around her if she does. That guy really wanted to blow up. Again, I have to question the like validity of that as a uh, like survival method too. Just throw yourself at at whatever is coming towards you and you know blow up. <laughs> that doesn't really seem like it would be effective in uh, you know keeping you and your offspring alive. Coffee vending machine. Well, that's interesting. I haven't had that before, so you know maybe maybe we'll drink some nice coffee later. This is a, I dig this music. It's good. Thank you, Jarvis. All right, I think the aurora is still this direction. Yep, there it is. Woo! Okay, maybe there's some Cyclops pieces over here. This salvage. I can't remember. If I can't remember where I've been. It's been a couple weeks since I've gotten to play, so our our last week's stream I had to cancel because I was too sick. Too incredibly sick. So it has been a minute since I've played, and I'm like, uh, I don't remember what all I've been to and done. Uh oh. Alright, come on, come on. Move, Prawn. Careful, careful. I don't want to get stuck. <laughs> <coughs> Okay, let's see what we have in here. Make sure there's no Cyclops information in here. Hey, it's that same lady. Again, really gets around. A lot of men, or, or she's a very sad woman after this ship crashed because she had like 75 boyfriends apparently and they're all dead now. <laughs> see anything here so alrighty moving on moving on where is my prawn there it is the Iron Maiden okay so the Aurora should be off there it is over there okay and power transmitter fragment pretty sure I already have that all scanned up but you know, 
better safe than sorry. I'd rather have some extra titanium that I can throw on the ground later than miss out on a chance to get the power transmitter if I don't already have it. So, good a thing to do as any. Okay, so now I should be able to really make it down and do. See, another one of the reasons I haven't come into some of these places is not necessarily that. I could, didn't have the depth, obviously, but more that I was afraid to come down here with uh, anything less than the prawn because I I actually lost one of my sea mods to a leviathan around here somewhere. So definitely a part of me that was like, you know, maybe I shouldn't go over there until I have something that can actually handle itself in a fight. Which I am told is the prawn, even though I don't have too many upgrades for it. Still, still gonna hold up better than the uh, the seam off. I wager. I know the butt end of the the aurora is where the leviathans are more likely to be. Back up! Back off! I will punch you full of holes with my giant robo arms, yo. You think you're bad? I'm bad. Okay, well that looks like it could be. Special equipment is required to collect this resource. Why, why is my giant ship not enough to deal with a time capsule? Time capsules are great. It's a stalker. Okay, so we got like one of all of the things we already had, which is, <laughs> you know, could be worse, I suppose. And if I die, I might, you know, be pretty happy that I have extras locked away somewhere. So we'll definitely put all of that in a locker. Okay, more ship bits. But not the ship bits we're looking for. Come on! Uh, let's see. Maverick says, I think the sand shark will be the next species I'll exterminate. Yeah, wouldn't mind killing some of those guys off. They're, they're a pain for the most part. They're not even, like, dangerous, really, like, whenever you're in your suit or in a ship or anything. They're just a pain. Stalkers, you know, eh, kind of mess around with you, but I've got a couple of stalkers that I like, okay? There's, there's, I have some stalker friends back home. But the sharks, nah, they're just jerks. Just jerks. Okay. Getting on down in here. This is where I fought a Reaper Leviathan last time. So, you know, I'm a little nervous about this, but. Oh, poop. There he is. There he is. <laughs> so I know that. Get back up, son. I know that my prawn probably won't die instantly to him. I also know that my prawn likely won't beat him in a fight either. So, what kind of is my best move here? Just to continue to try to avoid him and move on, or should I, what, what should I do? Because I'm sure my prawn can't handle, handle him, even though Seek I think intake. I can survive longer in my prawn than I did in my sea moth. I'm just going to move away from him for now and just keep coming low. Back up! Back up! Those guys are jerks. Okay, so this is where the... There's that thermal energy out here. So I guess there might be a way to build some sort of generator and harness some of that energy? I don't know. Okay. 
Oh, hey, look. Pod 12. Don't think I've been here. Well, no, I take it back. I think I have. I think I might have been to Pod 12 before. Yeah, I must have. Okay, well. I don't guess I should probably go down there. That's probably where I go to break my suit. <laughs> says maybe bone sharks source before sand sharks. Yeah, the bone sharks are kind of the worst. Like, on a scale of 1 to 10, they're probably my least favorite of the aquatic creatures in the game. Except for the Le Reaper Leviathans. Although the Reaper Leviathans are cool. And I, I definitely, like, respect the heck out of them. The bone sharks are just irritating. Very good luck finding our stuff. <laughs> it says, can you call it a, bo a shark if it has bone? That is a good question. A very good question. You're a weird little electric fish thing coming after me. There are a lot of them around here, too. Hey, guys, leave me alone, okay? This is... I, this might be your turf, I understand. But I'm busy, okay? So you go do your thing over there, and I'll do my thing over here. And if you have any problem with that, I will punch you in the face. Your electrified face will get punched. Immediately. Ah. Sharon, Vital shut your face. Woo, well this looks... This definitely looks like the kind of place that I might find new and exciting things. This definitely looks a lot like a place that I never could have gone without the prawn, so... Local scans show a nearby opening, leading to a biome with extensive fossilized remains. Okay. I don't like this. I really don't like this. This is super scary. <laughs> oh my gosh. Whoa, hey, 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 back up, sunny chin. You guys need to just take a chill pill, okay? Guess going lower might be my best opportunity to get away from those guys. I'm gonna need to get out and repair my, my prawn. Uh, repair to There you go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I want to hurry. I really want to hurry. This place is scary. I don't like this. I really don't like this at all. Help me. Okay, yeah. Thanks, Jarvis. Thank you. Thank you, Jarvis. Okay. Well, let's see. Uh, Maverick says, this is an alien planet. Glenn says, translation, this place is full of death. Yeah. It really does appear to be about as full of the death as it possibly could be. Man. Does this place go down forever? Can I, will I ever make it to the bottom of this place? Go ahead and grab that lead. Might as well. Oh, hey, I bet this is the cave that she was talking about. That's super cool. Okay, oh, hey, look. This is a Reaper Leviathan skeleton. What killed the Reaper Leviathan? Got a ruby here, which is nice. I'm sure I'm gonna want that. What are you? I don't like you. You seem kind of creepy. Alrighty, what do we got going on here? 
Anyone in the chat want to tell me what the heck any of this is? Uh, Maverick said, mm, the prawn suit can get most of the way as is. Seek fluid intake. Okay. Of course, I'm about out of water, which is unfortunate. Vital signs stabilizing. Okay. Also, what am I gonna find down here? Like, is it is there an important good reason to come down here, or is it just neat because it's deep? <laughs> I feel like this could be one of the uh, more important areas to go to, but. And it's Maverick is yes important. Okay. Is there something specific I'm looking for down here, or is this like where the Sea Emperor is, or something like that? Because like I know you know some places are the only place you can get like helpful items, things like that. So is this like a helpful item place, or is this like a this is where you need to be, bub? Always need more silver. Okay. Move on to this area. Boy, howdy. Is this going to go down for forever? Hello, weird creatures of, of the depths. What are you? What the heck are you? What's that thing? I don't like any of this. Uh, Glenn says you never seem to be full on water. Maybe Frank Jr. Uh, Frank Senior needs to have more kids. Remember says no, but you'll end up having to go over one KMD. Okay. So is it a good idea to go down to 900 and then swim down the rest of the way, or is that a stupid idea? What are you? I don't like you at all. That's something that'll eventually destroy the Prime's ship if you're not careful. Okay. Okay. Wow. Let's see. <laughs> Glenn says it's scary. That's what it is. All right. Well, no risk, no reward, right? Let's see what we can do. Ah oh, man, why does he have to be coming this direction? What's he doing to me anyway? Is it too hot down here? Is that my problem? It's the ghost Leviathan. Okay, I guess it's too hot for me down here is my problem. Whoa! 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 Hello! Okay, you know what? I think it's time to get out of here. <laughs> That's what I've decided. Is it's time to move on now to the Ponderosa. Okay, we've definitely found some interesting things, but it's time to get gone. Ooh, ha ha ha. Okay. No. No, you stay back. Sonny Jim. Eh. Okay. Pew. Ah, almost. Ah! Ah! Come on! Up, up, and away! Oh, that looks 
looks like he's coming right after me. Yep, he's coming right after me. Back off! Back off! You know what you did. I really don't like that guy. I don't like him at all. Dynamite says, don't go near it. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting that feeling. <laughs> Woo! This game does a very, very good job of making me feel very uncomfortable with wherever I'm at. <laughs> Just, like, right whenever I feel like maybe I have the equipment I need to handle a situation. It's like, maybe you don't. Uh, Dynamite says, I've been trying to find the inactive lava zone. I've been down there, but never found it. Okay. Seek fluid intake. You know what, Sharon? I appreciate you letting me know. <laughs> yeah. Come on. All right, there we go. Well, this was certainly an adventure, wasn't it? We didn't really get anything out of it, but it was... Uh, Maverick says it's been called an underwater terror horror game. EDM says it's actually quite easy. I think he's talking about the finding the inactive lava area. So, what's the conceit here? Is it supposed to be that the ghost leviathan killed all the regular leviathan down here? And that's why they have, there's leviathan bones everywhere? Because it seems interesting that they would just randomly be like, and Leviathan Bones, for no real good reason. Just because we thought it would be extra creepy. Uh, Maverick says, I like it as well. Not frightening to be one, to, to me one bit, but then I grew up watching the Shocker stuff. Yeah, it's not really that it, it like, scares me more or less. It's more that it just really... It, it does a good job of keeping me on edge, you know? Like, I always know that, that I'm never really prepared for a bad situation. Not really. <laughs> la, 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 la. <coughs> All of that because we were looking for a Cyclops and then found this place and then everything was awful. <laughs> it was a good way to spend the afternoon, right? <laughs> we definitely want to get out of here before we die of dehydration, because pretty much always need water. Guess I can grab a peeper. Hi, right, peeper. There's peepers. Unless I'm mistaken, give some moisture, right? And boomerangs! So many boomerangs! Okay. About out of there again. At least we got some rubies and stuff, right? Seek fluid and take immediately. Yeah, whatever, Sharon. Eh. Yeah, like some more rubies. Would likely be helpful. Likely be helpful to have a pretty ample. Just cut it out. I'm busy. I don't have time for you. Okay, we have successfully escaped from there, finally. Gosh darn it. I'm really having trouble getting over that hump. There we go.
Hey, there we go. Let's see, Maverick says, if you have the drill arm attachment upon, you can drill those big mineral chunks for resources. Okay, I wondered what the drill arm was for. I think I've researched that. I don't think I have it yet, but. Or I definitely don't have it yet. Okay, let's see. Hopefully we get back before we run out of water. <laughs> before we die of dehydration. Come on, attach! Woo! Just did a rope swing for sure. to the sea moth over here, I'll definitely find Frank Leafy's ancestors, which will definitely give me the most that I need. Definitely a lot closer to that than I am to home base, so. The prawn definitely takes a little while to get around in. Seek fluid intake. Are we just going to slowly die now until we get water? Nope, just gonna die, die. Okay, well that's, that's good. That's good, I was gonna jump out and grab a, gonna jump out and grab a, a fish and eat that real quick, but that did not work for me. So, you know, huh. <laughs> I actually didn't realize that I died instantaneously upon running out of fluid, because it's never happened before, so you know. Okay, well, at the very least, I can get to uh, the Iron Maiden fairly easily from where I'm at. Could have been much worse. Could have died down there in the bottom. That would have been real sad. <laughs> Really, the question is, what should I do next? Because I haven't had any luck finding Cyclops bits. Um, I guess the next thing I really need to do is try to figure out where how to get cured from my disease, um, which, like I said, is supposedly supposed to have to do something with the Sea Emperor, as I've been told in previous videos. So. Oh, Maverick says it wasn't dehydration, it was the electric eel you heard making these zapping noises. Oh, okay. Alrighty, I see. Well, that's only the third or fourth time that I've ever even died in this game. I, I've been pretty good about not getting killed, even though I've had no idea what I'm doing and gone to some pretty horribly dangerous places, so... <laughs> I suppose it could be worse. Okay, so now all I gotta do is just beeline for the Iron Maiden. <coughs> I see, it was one of those gentlemen. <coughs> they were the ones what did me in. All right, move, move, move. And boom. All right. Made it. All righty. Now we can see what's this direction. Go away, bad monster thing. I don't like you. You're a jerk. Okay. 
Cyclops whole fragment. I think that was one of the things I did. I think I had the hole. I think I was looking for the bridge. Oh, no, I didn't have the hole either. Okay. Well, I guess I'll be looking around here for more hole fragments. Maybe I'll find the bridge while I'm over here, too. So, that's helpful. Guess this area is not totally useless. I imagine it could be down here somewhere in the depths around this area. Boop boo. Boop doo doo. Okay. So I personally never had a fear of. of and out of the water. My brother always thought that lakes were, were creepy. And didn't like that he couldn't tell what was, you know, in the depths and whatnot. Which I guess I can get that to some extent, but eh. Anything in the water is pretty much more afraid of me than I am of it. So why would I give it the upper hand and become more afraid of it? <laughs> that music. That music sounds a little bit like it's uh, started up because bad things are around me, but I don't like that. But I can definitely get being a little weirded out, especially in a video game, by how much... Oh, oh, a warper. Sounds like there might be a couple of warpers around here. Okay, that's good. I'm probably gonna die then. Data box. Alien containment. Okay, acquired. Okay, hopefully I can get those warpers to leave me alone while I'm trying to excavate this. Hopefully they're just, uh, just, uh, you know, they can do whatever they want to do, I'll do what I want to do. They don't have to mess with me, I don't have to mess with them. I don't have to show them the business end of my prawn. Uh, Earthly Gaming, which is Dnetics. Welcome to the stream, Dnetics. Uh, it says, woohoo, I made it. Sorry I was late, I had to make it to a Wi-Fi spot. When Sean says, I agree with your brother ever since that deal in <laughs> Super Mario 64, I'm nervous about water. Uh, <laughs> Okay, well, I, I can I can respect that. Please observe safety protocol CSP21 before handling classified cargo. Okay. So what are we having here? Disinfected water, that's helpful. Okay, Cyclops thermal reactor. Okay, well that's cool. New blueprint acquired. We're definitely finding some Cyclops stuff now which is really helpful. We definitely needed that, so... Um, but I th I'm still very short on more than I have, that's for certain. Front suit fragment! Titanium! Titanium! over there but I think he'll leave me alone well enough if I just head this direction hopefully <laughs> you don't really need more lead I don't think but oh well. might as well have it right okay oh it looks like there's some more supplies over here that's Water? Yay, water! I can always use more water. Yes! Okay. Uh, let's see. Mavris has lots of scannables. Uh, Glenn says, okay, what is the Cyclops thing you keep mentioning? Okay, the Cyclops is a big submarine. 
So it's kind of like the... It's, it's kind of like the... Uh, let's see who's it. The uh, Seamoth, but way bigger. But unfortunately... I just can't find all the pieces for it right now. I just haven't been able to locate all of them. Which has been incredibly frustrating, because I'm told that it's not usually this hard to find pieces in the Cyclops. Yeah, I really think that there would be more to this wreckage I feel like I should be able to find a way into the other side of it or something. Uranite crystals. Okay, that's new. Nope, can't get in there. Okay, so that's where I went in already. So really, I'm assuming there's a way into this half of it, but I don't see any way in. Whole lot of nada. There's that, but that looks like I need to repair a door or repair something to get into it. Huh. I don't know. Uh, Maverick says, uh, the Cyclops is kind of like a mobile base, yeah. Which is super nice, because then the next time I'm drowning, I can just cook up a fish or something instead of... <laughs> instead of trying to quickly make it back to the base to no avail. <laughs> another Reaper Leviathan. I think I need to repair the farm. There we go. Yeah, we're going to try to stay low and see if we can get him used to more. Because I'd prefer to just not deal with him. see happening, you know, he's, he's got, he's busy, back, back, go, darn it, die, 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 ah, good grief, oh. okay, alrighty, we're all right, we're all right. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Is that more uranite? Because I don't think I have any uranite, really. Yeah, there we go. Neato. All right, well, we got him to leave us alone, at least. At least for the moment. He's... Yeah, we, we showed him what fur. He, he decided that it was better to just uh, leave us alone than try to deal with us, because we we're just going to keep punching him in the face, so... Whew. That was a little, a little stressful, a little bit of a stressful situation. <laughs> Definitely had less stressful in-game situations than that one. But at least we really know for sure that we can uh, successfully not die at the hands of the Leviathans now. Wasn't actually 100% sure that we could survive that. So. Yeah, there we go. We got some more uranite. There's a ruby. I don't like that noise. I'm assuming there's some sort of creepy creature around here somewhere. Maybe it's just a regular fish, though. It's just the regular fish. They're just demons. Okay, so now we can get some more rubies, more urinite. Again, 
not sure what I do with your knife, but assuming, here's assuming that it is uh, very rare and therefore probably very helpful. Why does it say that my, oh, the inventory of my prawn is full. Oh, okay. I understand. Okay, ooh, lots of uranite. I just take all of that and then I can die of cancer later, right? And have some magnetite too. Some magnetite, some more rubies while we're at it. Uh, let's see. Let me read the chat here in just a second and just find my prawn real quick. Oh, there's where the peeper went. Okay. Welcome to board, Captain. Thank you. All right, let's see. Let's see what the chat's saying. Uh, Glenn says, man, seeing you fight giant wildlife is giving me a hankering for some monster hunter. Dynamite Gaming says, Thrash Leviathan is strong. I hate all Leviathan. Cyclops, uh, Maverick says, Cyclops parts can be found around the mushroom forest. Dynamite Gaming says, wait, not Thrash. I meant that. <laughs> D-Dick says, I know right, Glenn. Uh, Dynamite Gaming says that Leviathan is strong. I hate Leviathans. And Maverick says, I think I've exterminated all of the Reaper Leviathans. <laughs> well, that's good. You just go and just kill all the horrible monsters off. It'll be nice. Okay, so where do I find the mushroom forest then? Because uh, uh, Maverick says that I can find them in the mushroom forest. Or Cyclops parts in the mushroom forest. But I don't really know what the mushroom forest is offhand. So... Uh, where would I find that? Gosh darn Le Reaper Leviathans. Literally everywhere. Why are they everywhere? I don't like them. The band! Not good at all. The just band. Diamonds! Grabbing some more diamonds while we can. Not a bad idea. <laughs> Whoa, hello, that is, that is a very steep drop, I'll just say that. Maybe not somewhere I want to be. <laughs> uh, let's see, Maverick says one is around the Aurora. Okay. Yeah, it might be about time for me to head on back. Really didn't like that noise either. All right, there we go. Yeah, we'll start heading towards, back towards base. Prawn. There we go. And it's that one pretty good. There's some more lithium. That's good. I know. I'm used a lot of lithium recently, so. Prawn inventory full. I guess it's very hot right here. Or something. Okay, attach on there. I think I'm getting the hang of prawning. Prawning is becoming something I'm okay at. Uh, Dynamic Gaming says, yeah, it's the only place I find them. Okay, so Mushroom forest near the Aurora. Okay, and I know that there's warpers around here, so we're gonna keep an eye out. I don't know that I've actually been inside that before. Definitely hear the warpers now. Come on. Ah. Having trouble getting up anywhere. Just need to take a break so that my boosters can 
catch back up. There we go. Okay, just attach there. <coughs> there we go. Whew. Sometimes this prawn uh, grappling hook thing does not work the way it really should. <laughs> Boom! Okay, here we go. All right, we have made it back to land, which is nice. Very, very nice. And then we can go up on the shore, harvest some bulba tree, and eat that for some water and sustenance. gonna have to do this one at a time. Well, wait, I can probably drop, yeah, there we go, drop a couple rotten fish. We'll do, we'll do two at a time now. There we go. Yeah, the bulbo trees seem to be some of the very best for hydration as far as the food and everything. Uh, Social Almond says, I've gotta go, do some lab work, I'm feeling better, may try to hop back on in the middle league. Thank you very much. Uh, let's see. Dynamic Gaming says, if you're not infected, warpers won't hurt you. Uh, Maverick says, oh, he's tainted. And May says, no energy soon. Oh! Oh, dang, you're right. I am almost out of energy in my prawn, aren't I? Well, maybe leaving my prawn here is as good an idea as any for now. And then... Just swim back come back with a power supply for it. <laughs> I thought I had another one around, but oh well. No big deal. We'll just stay near the surface and we'll be fine because the surface is less dangerous and we can keep plenty of oxygen. So, alrighty. So we're thinking about going to the Aurora and going into the mushroom forest near the Aurora. So, that'd be Oh, bye, social omelet. Uh, but, I don't know, we might go ahead and uh, call it a day here before long. I've got quite a few videos to, I need to catch up on before I get to, before I leave town on Saturday. Because I'm still going to have videos coming out, I'm just not going to be here. <laughs> so, vehicle bay fragments. La 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 uh, Mace says, are you scared sometimes playing the game? I am, I love it. Uh, you know, I, it creeps me out a little bit. It didn't really scare me. I, I definitely get it. Get to heebie-jeebies whenever I'm down low. And there's obviously, you know, monsters literally everywhere. Um, but I, I can definitely handle it. Uh, Nothing I can't handle, though, you know. So, but yeah, that's kind of kind of where I'm at as far as the the creeping fat the creep factor of this game is. I get to heebie jeebies whenever I'm way down underneath the water. There's like lots of big monsters and stuff. So, kind of like gaming says. By the way, keep away from the mushrooms in the mushroom forest. They have crab snakes. Oh, the crab snakes. That's, I have seen that. I've seen something like that before. Okay, well, I guess I'll take my sea moth over there and see what we can find out. Welcome aboard, it's Captain. It's about 50% energy, so maybe I'll, I'll dock it and let it start charging for a minute while I make new uh, power supplies. I should have uh, power cell. Two batteries, one silicone rubber. Um, definitely have some silicone rubber and one of these. There it is. OK. 
Okay, and then I'll grab out a couple more batteries because it's gonna use up all of my my batteries, and I'm gonna need my batteries at some point. I'm certain. Okay, electronics, power cell. Okay, there's that, and then we'll come to the battery charger, and we will trade in that empty one. Uh, let's see, Glenn says, I hear you. I don't really get scared by getting normally creeped out or stressed. And again, I don't play that many horror games, so a grain of salt. Yeah, I play a decent number of horror games. Rex, there we go, that'll be helpful play a decent number of horror games uh, on the channel here, so I'm, I'm a pretty good, uh, all systems online, so that's where it's the Aurora, yeah, okay, definitely a decent number of horror games, so I'm a pretty good sample for it, um, because I've just had to play play a lot of them. I do a lot of little indie stuff off the internet of all different types. And some of it can be pretty creepy. Pretty, pretty creepy. Uh, Maverick says I heard a game about this game a couple years ago because I love the underwater base perspective. Yeah, this game is super neat. I have really loved everything about it so far. It's, it's really just been a lot of fun to play. So really appreciated it so far okay so you saying there's a mushroom forest are the mushroom forests are those those are underground aren't they like big holes in the ground that you go through and then find a bunch of mushroom air, mushroomy areas right so I should be looking at all of these trenches for one that goes down all the way to mushrooms. Um, I haven't had a lot of luck finding mushroom forests in the past. Ended up needing uh, DNA access, yes, they are huge, in a huge cave system. Still over by the Aurora, what are we looking at? Our whale friends around here somewhere. But there are definitely more wrecks over here, so it might be helpful for finding some some cyclops bits here and there, right? Bioreactor fragments. Salvage, metal salvage, scanner room. Okay. Let's see if anything else I can hear. There's a infected sand shark. That's helpful, right? I should be able to use him for something. <laughs> What does it look like if you look at... Okay, it just says it. Okay. I'm trying to figure out how to tell if something's scannable without a claw my scanner, you know? Ooh, mushrooms! That looks like where we want to go. Alrighty, we have found it! Eureka, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Glenn says it's weird knowing this game isn't procedurally generated, not common for a survival game. Yeah, it definitely is strange. As well as just how huge it is, even though it is all, you know, handmade. Okay. So, we are assuming that perhaps we can find some Cyclops pieces somewhere in this mess. And to stay carefully away from the mushrooms, because the mushrooms have those in them. 
crab snakes, I believe they are called. I've already been in there, so I don't really need to go in there for any reason, to my knowledge. So really, we're just looking for wreckage, I guess, in here. Which, there is some here and there, so maybe I can find some Cyclops bits. At the very least, we would find ourselves some supplies, like batteries! Okay, nothing around here to scan. Uh, let's see. Uh, Maverick says, that's the Mushroom Caverns, not the Mushroom Forest. Oh, okay! Mushroom Caverns are different than Mushroom Forests. Alrighty then. Back out we go then, I guess, huh? Okay, how do we find a mushroom forest then? Are they going to be, I guess, probably more towards the surface? Come on. Where do we, how do we get in here? Certain that there's a way out around here somewhere. <laughs> okay, let's try heading down here and then back up. I bet you that will lead us in generally the right direction. All right. How do I get out of here? I'm done being in here. <laughs> uh, mushroom forest is parallel with Laura, Aurora. They don't glow. Hey, back off! Back off! I don't care what you guys think. I'm here to... I'm here to scan things and stuff. Stop it! Uh, fine, okay. Just... I think they finally left me alone. First aid kit, which I'm probably gonna need here in a minute after I get attacked by. Hi, crab steak! You don't have to hurt me, I'm just hanging out, okay? Alrighty. Woo, let's get out of here. Get the heck out of Dodge. There we go, that looks like an area I can escape through. Uh, Maverick says bye bye, Seamoth. No, we, we got it, we got it, we're good. Our Seamoth's totally fine. Hey, right, look, 17. All right, Jenkins. Let's get Jenkins back up to, to full health real quick. And we're gonna boop our head in here. I don't, I don't think there's anything here. I, I, I think I've been here before. I can't remember for sure. Okay. Doesn't seem to be any. Okay, so in relation to 17, I wonder how close we are to where we want to be. Okay, so we need to go this way to get to the mushroom forest, is what I'm hearing. And I'm gonna go ahead and swing by this really quick, make sure I don't see anything. It looks like it needs a good, good hearty scan. I think there is that I haven't already gotten the scans for before. 
Okay, there's another wreck over here. Scanner room, scanner room. Seamoth. in here. What's inside? Nothing. I may have already been here before. I can't remember. Okay, I don't see anything else here. Come on, Jenkins. Let's keep going. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you, Janice. Okay, so where is this alleged mushroom forest? This way. Okay. So we found ourselves a mushroom cavern, but not a mushroom forest, which is what we want. Like there's some salvage here. I don't see anything that looks like a cyclops even. Okay, let's see what we can find underneath. Might as well get some copper while we're at it, huh? Oh, there we go. There's a door. Boom! Open it up, there's gonna be like a big monster. They're like, ah! Abandoned PDA! Who manifests so all new PDA data? Okay, thank you. I appreciate that. Data downloads. Where survivors? I'm uh, not really a doctor. I, don't think I know that's what my ID says, but it's I never have been. Cheated the medical exams. What does a doctor these days need to know about manually resetting bones? When was the last time a top surgeon actually cut someone open? I think I That's what the robots are for. Yeah, Doctors these days read diagnoses off of computer readouts. For that, I'm perfectly qualified. But what good is it when I'm not connected to the main network? I'm bleeding. I've got glowing green pustules growing on my hands. I run a self-scan and it tells me I've got skin irritation. The only thing I studied in medical school was how to lie convincingly. What the hell do I know about how to treat an alien disease? <laughs> I think I'm actually going to die down here. Okay, so these are the mushrooms that we're talking about. This is the mushroom before. So we're looking for Cyclops bits here. Okay. Well, hopefully I can handle that. Laser cutter fragments. Okay, uh, if you're at the floating islands with your back to Aurora, you want to turn left and head south to find the mushroom forest. And then Navra says, no, that's not the mushroom forest. Well, they look like mushroomy things, and they... <laughs> okay, so keep looking. Okay, all right. And we have some more debris over here. Still yet more debris. Again, nothing looks to be what I'm looking for. So, Maver said that it was parallel to the Aurora. Okay. 
Okay. Woo! That was startling. Just saw a giant monster and was like, Oh no! Aha! These are mushrooms! This is it, isn't it? Okay, it has been confirmed. Okay, so there should be Cyclops bits in here. In the mushroom forest. I guess she's mixed in on the, on the ground level or up near the top. Okay, now we're just looking to see what we can find. Dnx says, nice job. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. I don't know if we're gonna find what we're looking for, but we found the we found this at the very least, so that's helpful. That's something. Ooh, that looks like a Cyclops hole. Hole fragments! One more hole fragment, and I think one more. One more hole fragment and one more or two more bridge blueprints. What we need. So I guess we just keep on keeping on. Hopefully we'll find some more more. Some more murmur. Okay. go down that way, that's for sure. <laughs> we'll just stay in this area, right? Don't need to go over there. Maverick says you passed one piece. I didn't see one. Okay, I'll go back and keep looking. It's also difficult to tell because everything sort of loads in randomly. Um, okay, that's just a power transmitter yeah. and that. Okay. Ooh, ooh, what are you? Lithium. Well, lithium was a lot bigger from back there. <laughs> okay, more power transmitters. big over there. Looks like it could definitely be a Cyclops hole fragment. Aha, it is! Okay, so we have the whole blueprint. So now we really only need the uh, bridge blueprints, which are the bridge blueprints going to be in here too? Or just hole? Got another hole piece. Probably one of the pieces I passed before. Because I just have to assume that, you know, if you, if you got pieces of the bridge broken all over the place, when you, I mean, pieces of the hull all over the place, don't you think there'd be some bridge pieces too? Doesn't that just make sense? Seek fluid intake. Ah! Gosh darn it, Sharon! Vital signs stabilizing. I don't need fluid. Yeah, there. Modification station fragment. Adam Lyle, welcome to the stream! Maverick says those are small pieces. Okay. They're small, but they're a piece. I already, I already have the hole. I don't need whole fragments in here. Um, Maverick says Cyclops scavenger hunt now working on the bridge. Yeah, we're we're trying to find the bridge in this mushroom forest. Let's see what we can find. 
so the bridge or bridge pieces are much smaller pieces I believe so so says Mavra I think that's what Mavra was saying anyway but it's been kind of a lot of searching and not a lot of hasn't been overly fruitful although we definitely had better luck finding the hole we found the whole pieces which was nice Still trying to figure out creature egg. Don't need that. Don't Because the bridge pieces, if I remember correctly, look like a computer console or something like that. I haven't seen anything that fits that description. more area down there. Oh, let's head over and down there. Cyclops hole. Alien vents. Come on, come out wherever you are. Maver says, I have confused bridge pieces with scanner room pieces. <laughs> yeah, the the scanner room pieces look like discs. They're like big discs. Bridge pieces look maybe like that? Oh, modification station. Gosh darn it. Welcome aboard, Captain. Doesn't help that we're so close to the Aurora, and so I feel like super nervous about like whether or not Reaper Leviathan is just gonna go poke his head out and be like, "Hey, what's up, guys?" Okay, well, maybe finding the rest of the bridge pieces will have to wait until the next stream. Maybe I'll do some research between now and then and try to figure out exactly where I can find them. And a better feel for what they look like. You know, I'm pretty sure I remember what they look like. You know, it's just maybe I'm missing something. Maybe I'm missing the summit. So, yeah. But I guess I could go ahead and glance around for a little while longer. I still have to get more stuff done today, so I can't can't spend too much time streaming. But I sure would love to find the last of the Cyclops pieces. Uh, Mavra says, I know there are bridge pieces directly behind and underneath the Aurora, but that area is rife with Leviathans. Alright, well, let's fix up the sea moth and let's see if we can't find some bridge pieces down there. Worst case scenario, I break up my sea moth and I have to fix it. I have to make a new one, right? Okay. CJ Johnson, welcome to the stream. Says, sup? Do you love us? Yeah, I love you guys. You guys are awesome. I have a great community. Just the, just the best. Like, I, I really can't thank you all enough for being a part of the streams, watching the videos, and all, everything, participating in things. It really does mean a lot. It really is super helpful uh, as a content creator to have people that, that uh, enjoy and care about your content, you know. It's uber motivating. <laughs> okay. Okay. It's not nerve-wracking at all to go to the place where I know Reaper Leviathans are. Okay. Yeah, I should fix my Seamoth again. Max, Max, well, Ma welcome to the stream, Max. Uh... 
<laughs> Maverick says, if it's a sacrificial CMOD, thank the modules with you when you bail out. Yeah. I imagine so. But my plan isn't really to sacrifice it as much as just be very strategic with it in hopes that I can find what I'm looking for and then escape. <laughs> So, for instance, I'm going to try to go through these little trenches where I imagine it's slightly harder for a Reaper Leviathan to come after me, or at the very least see me. This isn't just the most nerve-wracking thing in the whole world. Okay, you guys ready? I'm ready. I'm ready, Freddy. Okay, get over here and hug up close to the Aurora in hopes that nothing will be able to sneak up on me. Okay. Okay. I'm down here. I really, really, really don't like it, but I'm down here. Okay, there's one. Come on, come on. Okay, I don't I don't see any Leviathans around for the moment. I didn't mean that they're not gonna be literally everywhere around me in two seconds, but but so far so goo. Okay. Be towing around in one of the most dangerous areas of the game. That might be one. It's an engine fragment. I think I already have all the engines. Yeah. Ooh, saw I saw some movement over there. I ta da ta putty tat. Okay, why do the Reaper Leviathans want to hang out over here where everything's dying and exploding and stuff anyway? Isn't it? Wouldn't this be a bad place for them? In general. Okay. Okay. Where's the. There it is. There's one. Come on, come on, come on. All right, all right, we're outie. We're outie 5,000. Okay. Okay, come on, come on. We're, go we're leaving the way we came in in hopes that it hasn't really changed much since then. Please, music, do not pick up. There's nothing I hate more than the music picking up. That's like the game alerting me to the fact that everything is about to get really, really dangerous and awful. Okay, guys, I think we made it. I think we made it. Oh, I've never been so, so tense. Okay, let's see. Uh, Maxim says, do this game in VR, please. Oh, yeah, I'd love to play some VR of this. Uh, I, I don't have my uh, VR rig yet. Um, I have a a VR ready laptop that I'm going to start using uh, for some of my recording soon, but I need a good space to record VR, and it is my main problem. Because, um, like, I have the money for the rig, so all I have to do is, or I have the, the money for the, the headset, so really it's just between deciding between the Oculus and the Vive, and then also having the space that I need to use it. Unfortunately, the space is the thing that I have the, the least of. <laughs> 
my little recording studio here is just in the corner of this room because it's the it's the best space for recording. I don't really have a lot of like open floor space where I live, so that's kind of where my one of my problems. So, oh my gosh. Oh, let's see, Maverick says, dang, I should have had some carrot sticks to gnaw upon while watching this. The suspense is terrible. Hope it it'll last. <laughs> Squibblewiz says, is the stream almost over because I just managed to make it here? Welcome to the stream, Squibblewiz. Uh Dnix says, woot woot, woot woot indeed. And Glenn says, man, just thinking about trying to play this game in VR is making me nauseated. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know if it would be the best for it, but it could be pretty interesting. Okay, so there we have it. There's the, we've just made it back. And now uh, the thing to do is swim over to the other base, which is... Ah, uh, shut your pie hole! There is 100% definitely a life pod base around here somewhere. There it is. And there's the mobile, mobile vehicle creation thing. Mavra says, Subnautica plus VR equals sub. Oh, equal sub, and then a picture of someone who is, is ready to vomit, so like sub vomit. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so now that we have finally got what we need, uh, we're gonna need advanced wiring kit, three lead, lubricant, enamel glass, and plastilled ingots. So that will be our mission for the next stream is to complete that. Uh, also, I can totally make the Neptune launch surface pretty easily, but I just just can't do anything with it yet because I haven't uh, shut off the gun, and I can't shut off the gun until I'm cured, so. <laughs> so that's that. Uh, let's see, Glenstron says, that's not hyperbole, I need to get some water. <laughs> okay. So, um, that's it for today's stream. We're gonna go ahead and call it here. I will be able to stream next week at 9 a.m. on uh, Thursday. Unfortunately, I won't be streaming on Tuesday. I'll be out of town. Um, so the next next Thursday will be my next stream. So uh, yeah, thank you all so much for being here, for going on this adventure with me, and uh, for your advice, your hints, and your support. I uh, really, really appreciate all of you, and I'm really, really thankful that you uh, decided to come along and hang out for a little while. Uh, those of you who made it here more recently, sorry I couldn't stream longer. I I, I know it's a bummer to, to get in here at near the end, but I was glad that you were able to stop in and say hi. Uh, I'm glad that I was able to talk to you guys for a few minutes, even if you only just made it here. So, um, thank you all so much for being here, and uh, yeah. we'll. What the heck? Where did I just take damage from? Anyway, thank you all so much for being here. For now, this is Nathan Blake signing off for Nathan Blake Games, and as always, we'll see you in the next one. Sayonara!